there. Well, today's video is going to be all about my new Erin Condren address book. I bought this as a replacement for this address book, which I think I got as a graduation present, a high school graduation present, and all of the information in here is no longer valid, so I decided it was time to update. So you may be wondering why I would purchase a traditional address book like this when you have computers and iPhones. I just really like keeping all of my information safe and secure on pen and paper. I've had computer crashes. I've had my cell phone lock me out. I've had no service areas where I couldn't use my phone at all. And I really just like knowing that I have a backup of all of my most important contacts, my email addresses, my passwords. Everything is in this one spot. I know I can lock this up. I can keep it safe at home. And I don't have to worry that if any of those other electronic failures happen, I know I haven't really lost any important information. So today I thought I would just take you on a quick tour of the address book, show you around the inside, what it looks like, how it's arranged. So if this is something that you're considering for yourself, you can know what to expect. And then I'll also talk to you a little bit more about the type of information I'm keeping in my book and where I'm putting each of those things. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the box that your Erin Condren address book will come in. They typically always package their items in sturdy boxes like this. And so you don't have to worry about anything getting damaged in shipment. So let's just go ahead and pop this open. Once you open your lid, you'll see they have a couple of extra goodies here inside for you. There is a sticker. And then there's also a little postcard that you could pass along to a friend. Then every box comes wrapped in tissue paper and it has a little seal there to keep the tissue paper closed, just another added layer of protection. So once we open that up, you'll see there is a nice layer of bubble wrap that keeps everything from moving around in shipment and protects your address book or planner, whatever you order. So here is the address book. This is in the gray geodes pattern that I ordered. I thought it was so much prettier in person when I got it, I'm just in love with it. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. So starting on the outside of the address book, this is a laminated cover, just like with the life planners, and they are interchangeable. If you get tired of this and you'd like to have another option, it sort of gives you an idea of the depth and size of the address book. And there is also a little divider here on the outside. You can put that anywhere you'd like in your book. It acts as a, a ruler, a straight edge, or a divider, a placeholder. So starting with this front cover again, this is in the gray geodes pattern, and I had the word contacts written on the outside. That's just what my preference was. That's sort of how I see it in my iPhone, so I thought that was easiest. And then the first thing that you see here on the inside is it's got a little place for you to put your name and address or contact information, so if your book is lost, it can be returned to you. Then one of my little gripes here is that there is no initial page. You kind of go right into your special dates. I wish there was an extra page there, but not such a big deal, but just a little thing. So starting with your special dates, there's a page for each month and you can go through, you can add birth dates, anniversaries, uh, special work days. If you have a club that meets the certain date every month, just anything that you would need to remember, which is how I use this section. So you've got, as I said, one for each month and then you move right into your address section. There's also some quotes on the pages in between. So starting with A here, you've got a quote on the inside of the A cover, and then it goes into your address section. You've got a place for the name, the address, the phone number. There's also an email address section, mobile number, and birth date. So you can keep the birth dates there as well. And so I really like that it gives you plenty of room for lots of information. And then there are plenty of pages for everyone that you could possibly need to add to your address book. I think that there's five or six in this section alone. And then I'm not gonna go through each letter, but you get the idea. And so the B is gonna look the same way. You've got your little quote page, and then it goes into your address section. And each letter is like that until we get back here to Z. Now with Z, they didn't give you quite as many spaces, but I guess most people probably don't need a lot of pages for people with the last name Z. Uh, but after that, we get into a section that I really like, which is a note section. You've got some blank paper back here, which is the perfect place for me to keep passwords. I've got logins for different bills I pay for different websites that I need. Sometimes I don't need to go all the time, but they are access information I'd like to have. And then they've also given you another section here at the back for a quick reference guide. You've got a place for a plumber, babysitter, just any numbers that you might need to get to frequently, a handyman, so I really like that. And then you've got your closing page there, and then we have a little 
pocket folder here. There is a pocket on the front side as well as the back side. It's a great place to keep loose items. Finally, at the back of the address book, you've got a nice clear pocket folder here. This is sealable, which is really great. It's nice to keep things secure back here. And they have included a few more goodies. You've got a coil clip, which they include with most of their planners. Then you've got a thank you card to pass along to someone, another compliment card. And then they've also included a few of the invite a friend cards so you can give a friend a $10 off coupon for their Erin Condren purchase. Then they've included their do-it-all dots, which you can use in this book or your planner or any calendar that you like to use. And then this card is just an explanation of everything that's included. It kind of gives you a better idea of what is included and how you can use it. This pocket I like to use for business cards and writing utensils so I can have everything handy. And then you've just got your back laminated cover, which is also interchangeable. And that is a look at the address book. So that is a look inside the Erin Condren address book. I hope that you found this video helpful. I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.